Hi, I'm Jay Sheldon, Academy Trainer here at Wiesman US. Today we will be doing a trouble uh, shooting class on the F-18 fault on the Vito Denz 100 KAHA boilers. As you can see on today's training, we're going to go over the F-18. And what is an F-18? We're going to go to our pro resources and take a look at that as, and then we'll see what our cause is as well as uh, how, how to repair this fault. So we do have an F-18, so the first thing we want to do, and for this demonstration, I do not have an outdoor sensor, so we're not going to run outside and check our outdoor sensor. I made it convenient for us today, just so you can see how everything is done. So remember, we have the two screws on the bottom we're going to remove to take the cover off. Once we have the cover off, we can now shut the power off to our boiler. And remember, with the uh, 100, is the only boiler that we do have that you do not need the outdoor sensor to stay running. You will uh, get faulted out on the 200s, but uh, it will still run and still show an F18 uh, or an 18 fault. Nice thing with the 100 is as soon as you power the boiler on and off, it will actually take and see that we're not seeing an outdoor sensor anymore and automatically remove it so your boiler will stay running. We get out there and if the F-18 is gone, we can go to our fault history once again and see what our fault was uh, before we get here or when we get here. With that being said, I do have uh, our indoor our outdoor sensor just inside the boiler here. Uh, just because uh, in the uh, lab we would have had one uh, quite a few outdoor sensors to the outside, but for training, uh, it makes life easier to uh, work on it. So what we're gonna do is uh, remove our wires off our uh, 20, X21 plug here and remove them off the three and four on the, uh, the boiler itself. So we're gonna need our small screwdriver for this one here. As we saw in our demonstration in the beginning, what tools you were gonna need for this fault. So we're gonna take our wires off three and four And then inside our chart or in our pro resources, it will ask you if you want to see a manual itself, right? So we can go into our manual or on our pro resources and see the manual there as well. We're going to look up our chart for a fault for our outdoor sensor. There's actually a chart to test our outdoor sensors with ohms, and that would be killer ohms itself. So on this one here, we're going to take our meter and we're going to put it on ohms. Once we do that, we'll turn on our power and we'll just go across our wires going out to our outdoor sensor. Remember, this could be 125 feet long, this wire going outdoors to your northwest side of your building. And remember, that's where we want to see our outdoor sensors on the coldest part of our building, not under a dry event or anything like that, which we have gotten before. Once we do that, we're just going to touch our two wires together and read our ohms. And then we're going to look at our chart itself and see where we are with our outdoor temperature as well as what ohms reading we're getting. Then we're going to follow that line across and see uh, what we're reading. So we'll see if it jives to the outdoor temperature. Once we do that, what we would do is, uh, and we're not getting a reading, let's say we're not getting a reading going out, that could be a wire. So what we're going to do is go outside, take the cover off our sensor itself. Take the two wires off, and then we're going to check and do a continuity check on our wire. So we're going to take these two wires off, 
twist the two wires together and then go back and check your wire. And we're gonna keep it on continuity. And, but this time we're gonna take our meter from ohms and put it on audible. So we can hear to make sure that we're making a complete circuit through our wires. If that checks out well, and we know that that could be the problem sometimes, people cut the wires. Uh, we'll, we'll do another check with ohms reading on our uh, outdoor sensor itself. Once we do that, we're gonna replace the sensor with a new sensor, if that's the problem. But remember, sometimes we see it get false readings because uh, we're either in the sun and we put it in the wrong location. And I see many of guys put it out by the venting itself because we already built the hole for the venting so we can get our little thermostat wire and then hang it conveniently uh, near a dry vent or something like that, which is gonna fool your outdoor sensor into reading incorrectly. So you might get different temperatures wrong with your boiler itself and not heat or uh, too much heat. So once we put our wires back together, put our new sensor on, put our cover on. Once we put the cover back onto the boiler, we're gonna put our sensor back on number three and four on our outdoor sensor uh, location. Remember, small screwdriver. Make sure you always pull on your wires. Make sure you're tight. Just a little trick that I used to teach all my people. Same with your wire nuts. Just a little tug on them. Make sure you got them in there good because that can cause some headaches down the road, especially on your uh, line voltage. Get those wire nuts on it good. Now that we put the boiler all back together, we got our outdoor sensor on the outside on our northwest side of the building. Let's start our boiler back up and see if we fix the problem. Checking to see if we're getting our outdoor temperature coming back. There it came back. So now we do see that we're reading the outdoor temperature, which today is 75 degrees on the outside. This concludes our F18 fault on our boiler. As you can see, it was a little easier because I do have the outdoor sensor here. Sometimes we have it eight to 10 feet off the ground on the outside, and we're gonna check that. But I always start with pulling my wires off here to make sure that I do a continuity check or a, a quick test to make sure that my wires are not broken because I'm gonna go outside and test that anyway. So before I go outside, I twist my wires together then go outside and pull the wires off the outdoor sensor and then I just do a quick continuity check through my wires. Next then I would put my uh, meter on ohms and double check that uh, sensor to see what, if our ohms is uh, reading the same as what our chart is showing. With that being said, thank you for joining us here today for the F-18 fault. And remember these trainings are for licensed professional uh, trainings. Have a great day. Thank you.